Good afternoon. I'm Ed Wolf, your Central Kitsap County Commissioner. And yes, it's the beginning of September, and I can tell you fall is in the air. As we look out over Chico Bay, this is Chico Creek, and we're going to tell you today why water quality is important to Kitsap County and all of our residents. I'm looking out over at Erlins Point, I'm looking out at Traceton, looking at the bay, and somewhere up there is Mount Baker and the Cascades are out today. But here, you're with beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Chico Creek. And it's clean, and you're gonna hear about that today. Let me introduce, if I could, Grant Holcroft. Grant is the, the manager of water quality for Kitsap County Public Health. What does that mean? Public health, life safety issues for the county, not just COVID. We all know about COVID. This isn't a COVID production today. Immunization, shots, restaurant safety, water quality, everything that the Kitsap County Public Health District does, they do it well. And I'm so pleased to have Grant with me here today. Grant, welcome. Well, thank you, Commissioner. It's awesome to be here. And we'll say that we're six feet apart, uh, probably more than six feet apart. When I'm talking, I probably will pull my mask down, but I'll keep it on going and coming. But if you feel comfortable, do whatever you feel comfortable with. Yes, sir. All right. Let's start out by, by saying, or me asking, so you can hear me, me asking, what do you do for Kitsap County Public Health? What does water quality and correction mean? And give us, give us the public a bit, bit of information about what you do. The, the Pollution Identification and Correction Program, we monitor water in Kitsap County, all the surface waters in Kitsap County. Yeah. And then when we find problems, we go after those problems, we identify them and we fix them. For instance, we sample about 72 mm -hmm. streams mm -hmm. um, once a month, and when we find a problem with one of those streams, we chase the problem down and try and identify it so, and fix go, it. Go back for the public. 72 streams in what time period are inspected? Once a month. Once a month, okay. We also check the lakes in the summertime for yeah. swimming. Yeah. We uh, do shoreline monitoring where we walk, we walk all mm -hmm. of the shoreline mm -hmm. in Kipsap County and we talk about, or we investigate every bit of water that comes okay. over a bulkhead okay. to see if we can find pollution. Okay. And pollution, as we look out over Chico Bay and Chico Creek, it dies inland around the corner. I was out there kayaking last night. It's, it's important because not just bacteria. Why, why do we watch these waters so closely? Be, because this is where we uh, recreate, this is where we live, yep, yep, yep. and this is where we, some of us make our living. We have wonderful, uh, beautiful Puget Sound surrounding Kitsap County. Yeah. We have miles and miles of shoreline, and we try and make sure that when you go out mm -hmm. and kayak mm -hmm. or sail in Dyes Inlet, yeah. the waters are clean. And uh, kayak or sail, you said miles and miles. And I would ask no one to fact check me on this, but I think I'm right. We have about 250 miles of shoreline in Kitsap County. And are you telling the public and telling me that, that one of your staff or you are out monitoring that 250? Yes, we are. We're out. Are you tired? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, um, there's times when we're like, oh, it's um, 40 degrees and raining, and do we have to go out and sample? And yes, we do. Okay. And we, we do it, we enjoy it because the summer times are great and the winter times are wet. Fantastic, fantastic work. And I, it, when we were setting up for the shoot today, there was a father or a grandfather with his little grandson or son playing in the creek right here. And I'll look over to the right and hopefully we're not affecting the individual that's fly fishing up there. Hopefully he's gonna catch some fish. So tell us about water quality. What does that mean? How do you test? What are you looking for? We are normally looking for um, pollutants from uh, biological pollutants from septic systems, farms, um, pets, okay. and that sort of thing. How, this is a very important question to me, how the heck is Chico Creek doing? Chico Creek is doing pretty well. Chico Bay. Chico Bay needs some work, and we're <laughs> working on it, and we're working on it. Um, Chico Bay is pretty good, but it, we need some work on it, and we are doing that work. What's the, compared to what Chico Bay is doing pretty well? Uh, the standard that was exceeded was for shellfish. Okay. Washington State Department of Health mm -hmm. samples the marine waters above shellfish beds, okay. and when they start coming back higher in the, in the danger zone for shellfish, okay. 
they ask us to take a look at it and see what we can do about correcting that pollution. Generally, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but generally, our entire water area, how do we compare with the rest of the state, if you're able to give that information? <laughs> we, we are right, right there in the mix. We have good, clean water here yeah, in Kitsap yeah, County, yeah. and we work hard to make sure that happens. Talk to me, thank you, talk to me a minute about pollution and animals and what animals or critters are impacted by, by pollution. I'm talking about dogs and raccoons. And, so how, how do they contribute or how are they impacted? Wildlife is, has an impact on water quality. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These are, but these, wildlife is a part of the natural environment. Yeah. And so that's not something that we um, work towards correcting. Yeah. Um, we try and handle the human um, based sources of pollution. Yeah. We try and handle those things that we can correct through human behaviors. Yeah. Of your department, water, water management, water quality, water safety, how many people do you have working in your department? There's seven and, and me. And they're, they're out inspecting? Yes. Okay. And when they go out, sometimes we'll see these notices, public advisories, whether yes. it's at uh, Kitsap Lake or at Long Lake, wherever it might be, yes. or out at, anywhere, uh, over in Silverdale. What does that mean and why are they important? Public advisories. The advisories are posted when we have found a, or found a pollution source okay. that we think will cause a, might cause a health concern to humans. Okay. Okay. And we work on, we make sure that the public knows about it so that they can avoid that area. Okay. And do a good job. We have tremendously high quality standards for water pollution in our county. I'm putting words in your mouth again. Is that true or not? Yes. Yeah. We, we are surrounded by water, as you mm -hmm. mentioned earlier. Okay. And we do everything in our power to see that the water that flows down into Puget Sound right. is clean. So another tough question, Grant. Of the 250 miles of shoreline in Kitsap County, maybe one of the longest in the state, maybe not. What can the residents do? What can the 275,000 people that live here in the county, what can they do to help you, to help us, to help the county, to help the rest of the residents keep things clean? We would ask people that if a health inspector says, hey, can I take a look at your septic system or your yard, yeah, yeah. work with them. Okay, okay. Um, we would ask that you manage the runoff from your property. Okay. And we would ask that you pick up after your pets. Pick up after your pets. Yes. Yeah. We see that in dog parks. I'm not sure I see it out on the, on the beach too often. It does need to be mentioned. So Grant, we're going to close this segment of my Commissioner's Corner. We're going to go to you directly and do some testing and show the public how you test. I've asked uh, Eleanor to join me today, the daughter of Catherine Schaefer, our policy analyst at the county. We'll be right back. Grant, show us what's, how this works. So we have here, we have here Toby Stewart. Toby Stewart is one of the environmental health specialists in my program. And he is um, gonna do a sample event, show pull sample from Chico Creek so that we can see how it's done. Very good. So Toby has two bottles. One of the bottles is used for testing for fecal coliform bacteria. The other bottle is used for testing for E. coli. And those sample bottles will be placed in a cooler and sent off to the lab and we'll get the results, usually the next afternoon. And these creeks, Grant, are important for health purposes for the public and for salmon. For all of it. Yep. It's, it's to make it, to keep these creeks clean, the idea is that it's better for the public, better for public health, it's better for our partners, the Suquamish tribe, it's better for Clean Water Kitsap. All of these, all of these people, all of these agencies, all of these, the public, all together, we're trying to keep these waters clean for everyone's benefit.
as I close down this segment of my commissioner's corner for basically the beginning of September, I asked the question before I started with this today, why is water quality important in Kitsap County? You've looked at streams, you see bays, you see public swimming areas, you see rivers. That's why it's important for us to maintain, keep these bays, keep these streams clean, and Kitsap County Public Health does an excellent job of doing that, all of their staff. And if you have any questions about pollution, septics, farm waste, please contact Kitsap County Public Health. Thank you again for joining me, Kitsap County. Come back next time for my Commissioner's Corner.